I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. Since I play at Mahjong time, Siamese style, you have two minutes to make decisions or the game will toss a towel for you. So I practice doing sprints. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes so I can keep all my tiles. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. Hopefully, we can make decisions in under two minutes. I'm going to roll the dice to see which player we are. Player one is odd. Player two is even. I rolled an odd number, so we're player one. 28 tiles. I would play news concealed here. News concealed down here. White, I think. Maybe. Okay, news concealed, like numbers with threes. We have a gap, no three bam. I think what I would do though, hold the fours. Okay, news with the flower for concealed, like numbers with threes. If that doesn't come in, three, four, concealed, pung hand. If that doesn't work, three, six, nine. So we have a lot of discards, but options. I think that's how I would play this. Leverage that pung right there. Huh. Here's a quint. That would deplete the whole hand though. I think a quint is totally doable here. East, three, white. It's one away from being set. But everything, it would just wipe out the whole, the rest of the hand. I think. I don't know. We could do seven, eight, nine. I would just hold all those, get rid of those, maybe play a quint. If we played the quint, then the second option would be seven, eight, nine with the flower. So yeah. If you would do something different here, let me know. Would you go for a quint? It would really deplete the second hand though. At least this way we have two good tries for two hands as opposed to just one quint. So I think I would stand by my original decision. So if you would do something differently, write sprint one and what you would do here. Would you go for the quint? and then recover with a second hand later. Hmm. 
I mean, a quint is almost like winning two hands. Unless someone slapped out a double mahjong. I rolled a five. We're the dealer. Player one. 28 toss. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We have single wins, pung of eight, or green dragons. Then we have a pair of nines with cracks, pair of fives with bams, pung of twos, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. I think that's kind of a no brainer. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. We have a big gap. Then up here, I think what I would do This is how I would play it. Okay, these would be my discards. Joker bait. Two, four, six, eight. Maybe the second hand down. We have no four dot. So that's going to be the risk here. No, uh, yeah, two, four, no, that's not the right one. Two, four, six, eight, fourth hand down. Two, four, six, eight, we have that gap. That's the only bummer here. Or play the concealed hand if we can get a white dragon. That would be my preference. Then up here, force a quint. We've got the dragons, pair of fives and wins. If that didn't work, we could do consecutive run with dragons, four, five, six, five, six, dragon, four, five, dragon or even one three five dragon that's what i would do here i think let's just look at it again here if there's anything else could we use the five nine green i don't think so We have no fours, but this one right here. I think this is what I would do here. I would probably try to force a quint. We could even maybe use the nine as the quint. This was a tough one. Right, sprint two and what you would do with these. I think this is what I would do though. One more. I rolled a nine. That's an odd number, so we're going to be the dealer. Player one. Oh. 
Okay, this is going to be a real challenge. All right, here we have flower singles, one, three, six, seven, eight, nine singles, pair of fours with dots, pung, pair, pair, pung. Okay, two, four, six, eight. I would do something two, four, six, eight. Let's just pull them all. Two, four, six, eight. Two, six, eight. And then here, maybe like numbers with ones. I think I might try the two, four, six, eight pair hand here. Two, four, six, eight pair hand. Hopefully with fours, but if not, we have the sixes and eights we could maybe do. Two, four, six, eight pair hand. This would be the second one down. And then up here, like numbers with ones. Or as a long shot, a quint if we could get jokers. And then I would just discard. I think I would hold that for 2468 concealed. Discard all those singles first. I think that's how I would play this one. If 2468 concealed, or if we get that four, we could play even the first one. We could always use this as joker bait and still maybe go for the pair hand. All we really need to get confident here is to get that four bam. I think that's what I would do here. What would you do with this sprint? Write sprint three in the comment section and let me know. These were really difficult. Really difficult. Let's see how things went with time. Those were really hard. This is not easy. Some people think that Siamese Mahjong is easy. It's not. It's not easy. It's challenging. And it's a lot of fun, actually. It really keeps your brain going. Trust me. Let's see how the timing was with the sprints. Sprint one. 1 minute 42. Sprint 2, 1 minute 54. Sprint 3, 2 minutes 13 seconds. The game would have tossed a tile for me. That's why I like to practice. If you want to play online, you better do some sprints so you can make quick decisions. You got to move all those tiles around. That takes time. And then you got to make those decisions. Probably half that time is arranging your tiles. Takes practice. Let me know what you think about this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, so you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of sprints for Siamese Mahjong, using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.